Welcome back to the channel guys. Sorry I have not posted in a while. Um, I recently uh, changed shifts and uh, my schedule has been kind of crazy so um, it's been kind of tough to even make any more videos or anything like that but I'm trying to get back to it. Um, have several updates and I'm going to be working on this thing today or at least try to since I've been putting it off for a while. So um i'm not forgotten about it i've just been busy with side work um of course my white truck and obviously my new schedule has kind of you know been a little different and it's kind of hard to keep up with everything at once so we're definitely going to get back on this start working on it i have not forgotten about it i do have a couple of updates about it and I also uh, ended up getting rid of my wheels, my US mags that I had. Um, yes, they were nice wheels and whatnot. And for a daily cruiser, it would have been, you know, it looked good. But now uh, I ended up getting rid of them. And I'm going to show you guys a new wheel setup that I got, see what you guys think. Um, I still have not got tires for the new wheel, but I'm in the process of working on that. And yeah, so hang around and uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing today. I don't know if I'll finish it all today, but I just want to give you an update on the truck. I still have it. I haven't sold it. I haven't got rid of it, obviously. But And then also, I cleaned my garage. So I don't know if uh, you guys be able to tell. Now I have a little more room. But uh, yeah, I mean, I still have the truck and it's on stocks now it's been sitting in the garage and it was filled with all kinds of stuff back here i mainly cleaned it all out it's been collecting dust as you can tell but it's been in the garage and yeah um i uh did put it off to the side for a while because i was working on my sierra then i have an update on that not that good but it ain't that bad either so um stay tuned as i'll be uh telling you guys why this whole wiring harness is all taken apart and that's what i'm going to be working on but yeah still have it still here and uh trying to get back on it again finally get it going clean up this harness and get it tuned so anyhow let's jump right into it so as you can tell the harness is basically all taken apart and the reason for that was that we had an issue with some wiring going to the transmission and we were using the old transmission plug from originally from the truck and that was pinned into the PCM, but came to find out that the original plug that went to this truck um, was wired differently, and that was giving us issues. So I'll go into a little more detail right now, but um, yeah, I mean, we're gonna clean this all up. Basically, what I'm gonna do is uh, pull the complete harness out of the truck, loom it. Um, also, uh, we're gonna get rid of these connectors right here. As I was running a little adapter, which is these right here. But instead of having this extra little pigtail adapter, um, I am going to purchase just the plugs to actually uh, cut these off right here cut these off and put the plug to go to the injectors right there as I am running a newer NNBS injector with the NNBS intake manifold and uh, yeah just trying to clean it up finally get it all bound up um, loomed and hopefully get it tuned so that's what's going on here with those wiring. I'll 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull it all out. I probably won't video me taking it off. Maybe once it's off, I'll put a little clip up or something. But yeah, um, the only other thing on this truck was I told you at the beginning of the video was that I don't not I do not have the U.S. mags anymore. The they were the uh, U.S. mag rumblers, the 22 by 9 by 22 by 11, and uh, yeah, I ended up getting rid of those. And stay tuned, I'll show you why. All right, so I got most of the harness out, or at least off the truck. Um, I had to undo this bad boy, whole fuse box. Um, the only other thing that I don't know if I'm gonna either unpin from the connectors here or cut them and then solder them back together or whatever is these wires. These are for the uh, E fans. And uh, that's there. The only other thing I have to do is I do have to go under the truck and undo the transmission speed sensor and the plug and the two uh, O2 sensors. And it should be completely out. I did pull out this uh, plug that goes into the firewall down here. And these connect right up in there they're all fed all the way in but this sits flush against here and i took it out so basically everything on this side is off as far as the harness as you can tell it is a mess and the reason we are pulling it out now finally is to clean it up loom it make it look all nice and clean Put it back together, make sure everything's functioning correctly, and hopefully finally get it tuned. Now, this is the other PCM that I had uh, Aaron from All Out Tuning uh, put a program on, or a flash, because with my other PCM, I don't know if it's something wrong with it or what, but this PCM, the truck ran way better but yeah so that's where I'm at now everything else is really pretty much off I gotta barely get this whole bunch of wires and feed them through the bottom pull it all out and literally just lay it all out on the ground and start cleaning it up um, fixing wires any broken wires anything exposed and uh, yeah get it loomed but I'm not going to show none of that. It's probably not even worth it because it's probably so boring to even watch. So I'm going to probably just do that another day. Um, I'll continue to pull out the harness out completely today. And yeah, go from there. Um, now as for the wheels. Um, I don't know if you can see over there. But let me... Uh, set the camera up and uh, I'll show you guys all right now for the wheels like I said I sold my other wheels um, don't get me wrong those wheels look very amazing and good on the truck but the route that I want to go with this truck um, those wheels we're not really gonna be doing the job for the truck as far as you know if you want to go fast you can't can't you really can't have both um, show, no go, or I'll go, no show, whatever, however you want to call it. But anyhow, here is what I went with. As you can tell, obviously, race doors. These are my fronts. These wheels are a 17 by 7. And I was thinking of running a skinny up front but decided not to especially because roads out here and where I live it's not the ideal thing to do plus if I was gonna you know drive it on the street or daily drive it and whatever you know I didn't think like a little four inch 
wheel was going to do it, but I went with the 17 by 7s for the front, and uh, yeah, I ordered these from uh, Summit Racing, they had them on there, I was looking for these for a while, I knew they made them, but all the ones that I've seen were the chrome wheel, and I did not want the chrome with my truck, so, but yeah, obviously the little caps that come with them. Like I said, this is one of the fronts, and uh, and uh, this one right here is one of the rears. I actually do have the whole set, but I just show you one front and one rear. The rears are 15 by 10s, and this is a very very light wheel. And I think this truck's going to look great with these. And also will probably perform pretty good. So. Yeah. They're basically brand new. Like I said. 17 by 7s in the front. 15 by 10s in the rear. I still haven't got tires for these. And. Uh, we'll probably run a uh, drag radio on there. I'm looking at some uh, Mickey Thompson's. For the rears and just like any regular tire for the front nothing special um, the only other thing was for these wheels I did have to order the lug nuts for them which are in here I actually contacted Ray Stars Industries just to make sure I got the correct lug nuts for these wheels and the truck so this is what it takes and also the valve stems now all this was separate from the wheels and they do so the whole kit complete but at the time that I bought the wheels I did not buy these and uh, yeah so I bought them at a separate time got the part number from Raystar Industries and I ordered them so yeah man this is going to be the new wheel setup for the OBS and uh, I don't know man, I think it's going to look pretty good, pretty uh, probably killer look, especially with the color. Of course I don't have the, like I said, the tires right now, but if I was just to sit up there and these in the rear I mean obviously you can't really tell as far as you know once they were on the truck but yeah I'm super happy with this new setup and uh, the only other thing that really surprised me was well I mean I ordered the wheel from Summit Racing but I ordered the rears first and the front later down the road and the rears I don't know if it's because of the size or what but the rears believe it or not are way much cheaper than those over there um, it's actually I want to say at least 200 to 250 $250 difference and the price from the rears to the fronts but you know what it's what I wanted and uh, I didn't really care how much more they were going to be because I actually wanted the full set or have the full set for the truck since you know I got rid of my other wheels and uh, yeah I mean other than that I do have bad news on the white truck. Something happened this probably a couple days ago. And I'm gonna show you that too. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the keys for it and I'll be right back. All right, so here's what I got going on with this uh, Sierra. And you might get an idea of what's really going on. Valve springs, they're okay. Push rods are okay. But uh, here's what happened. 
and uh, obviously the valve cover is here. And as you can tell, trunnion kit that I had put on these rockers came apart. So uh, come on, can focus. So it's broken. And these things right here. Oh, come on, focus. Let me uh, set down the camera and try to see if I can get this. Alright, so obviously you can tell the rockers are all torn apart or taken apart. And I don't know if you can see the damage here on the trunnion. That's very bad, nasty groove now shame on me about these on ebay i don't know if they're knockoffs or they are actually the comp cams ones but yeah even this one this is the second one over so i'm assuming they're all like this uh, the reason uh, i noticed this was because the truck started making a noise like i mentioned and you see this is broken right there and I spotted this on the first rocker right here so I pulled it out and uh, yeah this was the damage I was doing some reading online about the uh, training kits and uh, like I said I don't know if this is just a knockoff which I believe this probably is now at this point but um, pump cams uh, there's a lot of complaints and people uh, having their training kits and this happening to them now I do got to say that my 5.3 that came out of the truck had the or has the comp cam uh, training kit so this is probably a knockoff or something close to it or even one of their kits but I'm not too sure so um, I was looking into them last night and I'm going to go ahead and order a BTR training kit as they have way better reviews and according to everybody's statements the material that the trunnions are made out of supposedly it's a very uh, more stronger durable metal material and you guys have been going from comp cam training kits to BTR and have not had issues since. There was a guy on there that uh, stated that he did change, uh, has gone through a couple of the kits, not BTR, but um, comp cams. But like I said, I'm not sure if this is a comp cam kit or not, but the uh, push rods seem to be okay. Like I mentioned, I am not going to run the motor until I fix this issue completely, which I am going to replace all trunnions on all rockers with the BTR so yeah kind of sucks but there is a little bit metal shavings on the dipstick not crazy uh, the truck still has um, oil pressure I didn't lose oil pressure it wasn't making any other noises it was just I could hear the rocker arm so luckily I got caught this now then later which I could probably could have trashed the whole motor but yeah um, I also have a uh, oil over there for oil change that I was going to do anyways that would be the third oil change on this motor ever since uh, we fired it up so yeah like I said it kind of sucks but it is what it is there's no going back and uh, hopefully the kit gets here tomorrow as I did order it uh, for overnight and uh, to get it fixed now I had a guy in the comments ask me about that. Um, that is my wife's Jeep, uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee. No, it's not an SRT8, and no, it's nowhere near SRT8. It is a just a Grand Cherokee uh, Limited or something like that. But anyhow, we um, lowered it with uh, Ebec uh, springs. They're the 1.5s up front and the 1.8s in the rear. And that's the lowest you can go on this setup. 
Um, the wheels, obviously, they're replicas. They are Hellcat replica, replicas, excuse me. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, I've been asked many times if it's a SRT8, and no, it's not. It does have a uh, 5.7 Hemi in it, but I mean, that thing is a gas hogger. So we'll see and uh, what happens, and uh, go from there. All right, so we ended up pulling the full harness out. Everything's out um, on the wires that I had mentioned. That either we were gonna have to clip off and solder back on. I actually ended up just unpinning them from the uh, connectors, so that way we don't have to like redo the soldering and shrink wrap and all that. And uh, yeah, the whole harness is out. And uh, finally got the uh, little plugs I was talking about for uh, the newer injectors. Little pigtails or little connectors came in finally. And uh, yeah, so actually here's the whole harness. Looks like a mess. But we're going to go ahead and be cleaning that up. Uh, looming it and putting these bad boys on. But yeah, um, I need to actually get a wire loom coming in because I have not ordered it yet and I'm trying to decide which kind of loom I'm actually going to put on there. Um, my Sierra, I finally ended up uh, getting the training kit, the BTR training kit I had mentioned. Uh, of course I didn't film none of the uh, process of redoing the training kit and all that as I had already posted a video in the past of doing a training kit but the kit's been on it's been great have not had any issues since and it's been running great it's been I want to say two weeks now I know the video you know I left it uh, with updates of the truck but um, it's been two weeks ever since the kit it's in I haven't had a problem since so that's good to go and uh, as far as the side work I have a uh, customer's uh, Impala SS now uh, he just got it uh, painted not too long ago and he brought it over for a engine swap no we're not going LS swap on this we're just doing a uh, swapping out for another LT1 as this motor uh, he says it has over 120k or more which is not really too bad but I guess he ended up finding one in California uh, that some old man had it years ago and was rear-ended totaled the car he ended up keeping the powertrain and according to what the guy told them, the motor that we're going to put in the car now has just a little bit over 20k, 20,000 miles. I mean, I see the motor, it looks pretty clean. Not sure if it does have that miles, or those miles, but yeah. And then also right here, I have this other motor. It's a 5.3. It's for another customer. Um, we're doing a cam for it. I already have uh, a cam, new pump, gaskets, the lifters, we're also doing a trans cooler, and uh, I'm waiting for the head studs. We're actually going to do a set of uh, 243 heads on here that I've been, uh, or I, I actually started porting, and I'm going to show you that right now, but yeah, like I said, I've been very busy, too many things going on at once. And uh, I will finally want to get my truck running. And hopefully here in a couple weeks, I'll have the new wheels on. I need to clean the truck. It's been sitting for a while. It's collecting dust. And I want to just get it done so I can actually finally drive it. Um, but yeah, this thing uh, it's just been sitting here.
Now here are the uh, heads. These are the uh, 243s. Uh, 243s uh, picked up in the valley and I started to port them. Now we're gonna go ahead and port these and mill them down 30 thousandths to bring the compression up for that 5.3 and uh, hopefully we can make uh, some good power on it and go you know meet the uh, customers goals as far as what he wants to do in horsepower and what he wants to do with the truck but yeah like I said I've been busy with multiple stuff uh, my uh, my schedule's been different and I've been trying to keep up and well, I decided to continue the video showing you what's going on and where I've been. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just uh, end off the video here. As I ain't got nothing else going on as far as any of the trucks right now. Like I said, I'm going to be working on that harness. And uh, once I get that all figured out, you know, cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and just put it back in the truck get it running and uh, do the wheels get my new tires in for the wheels get it ready cleaned up and probably schedule a tune to finally get it tuned and I need to get it done because this thing's been sitting here so long that you know I, I, I drove it a few times and kind of missed driving it so yeah, man. Um, thanks to the uh, new subscribers. Thank you guys for uh, um, being part of the channel. I know I have not really uh, posted much stuff out there, made new videos, and you know, like I said, I don't want to be posting stuff that's boring and and, and whatnot. Um, I don't know. I mean, some of you may think this video is boring. You know, everybody has their opinion, and it's free to their opinion. But, yeah, you know, I want to continue with the videos and with the channel and, you know, obviously get more subscribers, more followers, and, you know, keep doing builds, keep doing the day-by-day -day thing, and go from there. So, thank you guys again for the new guys, like I said, that subscribed. Um, we really appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Go from there.